BAE Systems is a global defense and security company with approximately 100,000 employees worldwide. The company delivers a full range of products and services for air, land and naval forces, as well as advanced electronic security, information technology, solutions and support services. In 2010, BAE Systems reported sales of £22.4 billion, equal to £34.6 billion. US dollars. Good afternoon, my name is Susan Lisovitz, reporting from BAE's office, London. My first guest is Marsha Banker. Marsha, looking at your company and using the analyzing tool PESTEL, what have you found to be the biggest challenges your company has faced in the last 12 months? Well, it's been a very tough couple of months. BAE pleaded guilty to a charge of conspiracy to defraud the US in relation to sales of arms, and it's hit our company really hard. Economically, we've also suffered losses. Unfortunately, we're looking to cut around 9,000 jobs in the UK. However, we've managed to keep profits steady by reducing our own costs and increasing international sales. We currently tower over all our UK competitors and receive an annual contract worth more than one billion from the Ministry of Defence. Environmental issues are a growing concern for our industry. We have been actively engaging with Recycling Lives over the last seven months on how to reduce the amount of waste that's going to landfill. My second guest is Mike Heffron. Mike, how has this affected you in terms of competition? BA Systems is in strong competition with its American companions such as General Dynamics Corporation, Lockheed Martin Corporation and Northrop Grumman Corporation. In terms of competition, there is no potential risk of them trying to break into the defence market as it is difficult to enter. The well-known organisations would suppress any newcomers trying to enter this market. However, when talking about competition, I must mention the customers are one of the key factors. They want to buy the best, the newest and the most trustworthy products available. All companies in the market offer great many different products and the newest technologies which allow customers to switch brands to get the best and therefore satisfy their needs. All these forces may have, may have an impact on our business which we need to cope up with to be the best in the market. My last guest today is Linda Hudson. Linda, could you summarize the main threats affecting your company? Yes, uh, we are in a constant intense competition and unfortunately we are highly dependent on government contracts. Okay, and um, do you still consider your company as one of the leaders in this industry? Of course we are. We are the fourth largest global defense company and we are highly recognized in the industry. Our business is diversified and we are always focused on research and development. And what is the most proud, uh, what we are most proud of, is the fact that uh, we have a good growth and revenue and profits every year. E-Systems has major social responsibilities as a major employer, a neighbor to communities around our site, and as a key supplier to our customers. As a defense company, we also have specific and additional responsibilities. We have to fully understand and comply with laws and controls governing defense exports and ensure we meet the highest standards of conduct in our work, as well as managing and reducing our environmental impact. Environmental issues are a growing concern for the military. We have formal policy to ensure individuals, teams and managers within the company are held responsible for the environmental impact of our products. One of our aims is to reduce volatile organic compounds. VOCs are chemical compounds used in manufacturing to decrease and clean and as a solvent in paint. The OCs evaporate easily and are implicated in the creation of smog. To maximize profits and sales in such a competitive market, BA system has focused mostly on the rational go model and open systems model. This allowed them to dominate this industry by continuing to be innovative and to increase productivity. However, they have failed to pay attention to the human relations model and this has led to bribery and corruption within the company which has had an effect on the honesty and openness of the employees at all levels. Globally, BEA's reputation has taken a battering. I, recomm I recommend that BEA employ a system of openness and operate in a more ethical fashion.